when the robot's enabled, it, the claw can open, and the, it will grab onto the cube or cone. And then once we've got, uh, picked up the game piece, we're able to move around to our scoring area and put them where they need to go so we can score the points. A small but mighty team built up of technology-loving South Okanagan High School students are working hard to get to a prestigious national robotics competition, but they need help to get there. The first robotics competition sees teams from around the region compete in Victoria with their robots in March. So we find out again on the 6th of January of what we have to do. So we're given just under two months. So we meet during the build season five days a week. Um, until then, it's continuing to fundraise to pay for the trip and working on the skill building needed to build this. So there's a lot of limits that we have to build within, and that's part of what makes it a challenge. That's part of what makes it interesting is the students have to figure out how to achieve the objective within all of those limits. And I quite enjoy that aspect. The club's main goal is education. What's unique about this program, unlike other programs, we design and build it from the ground up. We get the, the design, the plans, everything. We get the steel, we get the aluminum, we build it all up, we order the parts we need. It's all by hand. We try our best here. I've seen robots that are fully automatic, but I know that we do the most education we possibly can here, and that's what matters most to me. To be able to travel to Victoria in early March and compete, the team is looking to raise around $20,000. It's not to be number one, it's, but it's to show the principles of STEM, to teach people and to show that just because you're from a small town doesn't mean you can't do things like these. Aside from sponsorships and donations, the team is also looking for mentors. If you're interested in joining, mentoring the club, donation, or sponsorship, head to the Penticton Robotics team website. For Castnet News, I'm Casey Richardson.